Hello, in this video I will explore the genetics of a pre-colonial Dominican female. The fascinating thing about this genome is that it is one of the several Amerindian genomes that are predicted to have blue eyes with H. iris plex. This sample, like many other Amerindian samples, carries two derived variants in her 2s blue eye haplotype 2. Did she really have blue eyes? Let's find out. First, let's go over her QP admixture at street breakdown. She seems to be a roughly even blend of ancient North Eurasian with ancient Northeast Asian. The model where she scores 57% A and E gets a p-value of 0.1 and a good z-score. We can confidently say she is over 50% ancient North Eurasian based on this particular model. I tried to make a model to see how much West versus East Eurasian ancestry she has and in this model the p-value is much worse. Some scholars would even say that this model doesn't pass. I made a custom ethnicity calculator for her based on the FST table. According to these statistics, she is closest to Piapoco and Pima Native Americans and can be modeled as a mixture of Piapoco with Gorilla. Now let's move on to her trait predictor results. Despite having both blue eye haplotype 1 and blue eye haplotype 2, she actually doesn't score blue eyes with my trait predictor, instead scoring brown eyes as her most likely eye color. Here is her predicted phenotype. She is predicted to have brown eyes, black hair, olive skin tone, straight hair texture, and a snub nose shape. She is predicted to be intermediate between the warrior and the warrior profiles, having less D2 receptor sites, intermediate odds of autism, average levels of empathy, highest odds of epithelial cancers, lower odds of autoimmune disease, lower odds of obesity, and decisively blood type O. She had high odds for hemoglobin E disease, gout, age-related macular degeneration, type 1 diabetes, glioma, and testicular cancer. She had very low odds of migraine, leukemia, stroke, male pattern baldness, deep vein thrombosis, cardiovascular issues, depression, bipolar and schizophrenia, Alzheimer's, and multiple sclerosis. She carried no rare risk variants. You can purchase her genome in 23andMe format from the link in the description of the video. Don't forget to check the description for Andre DNA products and services. Goodbye.